Welcome back everybody. In this video, I will discuss about the table structure of state, cities and area. But before doing that, I have made some changes to the splash controller. Let me discuss about that. Here, if the result is success, then here I have saved all the details of the customer like customer ID, user ID, customer first name, customer last name, customer profile image customer email here i have checked if the customer email is null then zero will be stored after that customer status on which date the customer has been created and the role id and the mobile number all these informations i have saved in the get storage fine and here i have done one more thing if the value dot result is success then these things will happen but if the value dot result is error then this custom snack bar will be displayed and the app will be closed. Similarly, in on error, this custom error message will be displayed and the app will be closed. And the same thing I have done. If the program goes to the catch block, then this snack bar will be displayed and the app will be closed. Fine. Now let me move to the table structure. Now for state, I have created these columns state ID state name and state status correct now here state status is one this means the state is active whenever the state will be created I have set the default value of state status as one this state ID is auto incremented and this is set as primary key now if I move to cities table then here I have created city ID state id city name and city status city is primary key and it is auto incremented after that this table is referencing the state id column city name and city status one this means the city is active by default i have set its value as one fine and if i move to area then here i have created area id city id area name area pin code and area status now area ID is auto incremented and it is primary key and it is referencing referencing the city ID column and here I have used the area pin code means what will be the pin code of the selected area and uh, the area status one this means the area is active I have set its default value as one this is the table structure of state city and area I hope you have enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching.